Cornhuskers in front of a sold out crowd in Extreme Arena. The atmosphere is electric. They've been lining up and taking their seats since over an hour before the opening set. And they are ready to rock and roll here as Michelle Urquhart is ready to start things off for the Hawkeyes. And here we go. Good dig to start things off for the Huskers. Sent over. Amaral sets it up for Garcia. Big swing and a block. And the Huskers take the opening point. And a quick roar from the Huskers fan. And, you know, it's, if Iowa, you got to get started early. They, you do not want these Cornhuskers to get on a run. That, that front line for Nebraska is so tough. Get, Jim Barnes is going to have to get creative in how they score today. Bergen Riley up there helping out with the block. She sends it over. Amaral sets it up for Phil. She's blocked, kept alive by Garcia. Amaral over on two. Good save from the Huskers. Big swing, and that one will drop in front of Urquhart. Back-to-back -back points for the Cornhuskers. And Garcia kept that play alive for Iowa, but you see right there in Nebraska, they're resilient. You know, you need to, you need to play your best. The missed opportunities, they find a way to still succeed on that side. Here's Riley again. Urquhart sets it up for Garcia. She tips it over. Set up big swing, but that one's over the end line. A strong attempt from Landfair, but too much juice on it, and Iowa gets their first point of the set. Yeah, big one for sure. Just a little bit too strong there for Nebraska. Good judgment there from Gallus to stay away from it. Taylor Landfair, one of the big transfers into this Nebraska team from Minnesota. Is an AVCA All-American first team back in 2022. Was also on the All-Big Ten first team last season for the third time in a row. Big swing from Amaral. That one drops in for a kill. We love to see that from Amaral. We saw her working out just a little bit of an injury pregame, getting comfortable with Jim Barnes in that same area right there. You see it. Big left-handed swing there from four on the Iowa. She said even just last week, her jumping abilities were only about 50-60%. But today, ready to go. Tipped over by Nebraska. That one drops into the campfire. Nebraska retakes the lead. Yeah, and back on Claire Emerald, you know, you, you want a fully healthy Claire Emerald, but you want one who can commit. You want someone that, even if you are a little bit injured, are you going to be hesitant when you play? So, I, you know, for her, talking to, you know, coaches pregame, she feels 100% ready to go. Claire wants to be on the floor tonight. Again, sliding in for Jenna Meitzler, who's been phenomenal since taking over that starting spot. Here's a block by Nebraska but it's gonna be a net violation. That one called on Amaral, so another point for Nebraska. Here is Olivia Mauck. Amaral sets it up, big swing, dug out, tipped over, and that one will drop in for a kill. Rebecca Alec picks up a kill. And only a few people can do what Alec just did right there. Goes up, able to use her inside hand there to swat it down with enough force. No Hawkeye could get in the middle of that one. Here's Phils, tipped at the net. Nebraska keeps it alive. Set up, big swing. That one just stays inside. Good kill for the Cornhuskers and Harper Murray. Yeah, that was a tough one there for Gallus. Wasn't sure if she could fully commit to it. Just right on the edge there. Nebraska taking advantage of everything right now. Up four early in this one. Olivia Mount, the 5'6 freshman from Bennington, Nebraska. With the serve. Here's Phils tipped over. That one will drop in. And Dom Phils getting the start tonight. Gets her first kill of the match. Yeah, great play there from Phils. We talked about Jim Barnes and this entire team having to get creative in how they score. So going against your tendencies, you know, Nebraska, a lot of film. They know, you know, they're good, they're smart. They do such a great job on the defensive end. You got to get creative in how you score points against them. Big swing, and Urquhart can't get there. Another kill for Nebraska. You see, nice setup there by Riley. You can see why her assist numbers are so high. We talked about, you know, that's important for Nebraska. She's in the middle, she finds a way. She knows she's got weapons around her. She makes them look good. Garcia, a thunderous kill with a cross-court attack there. Picks up a point. It's 7-4, Nebraska. 
Yeah, and that's where Garcia wants to be, on that right side, able to come up fully, use that left hand, goes across the court, gets the kill for the Hawkeyes. Here's the serve from Olivia Lombardi, dug out by Gallus, and she sends it over. Big swing, Amaral gets a hand on it, but it drops. Yeah, you saw a good dig there from Gallus. Iowa just not able to clear Amaral there, just couldn't get quite where she wanted to be positioning on that one. Frustrated with herself, but Iowa staying in it so far. Andy Jackson able to get up and pick up her first kill of the night. They now lead by four. Here is Merritt Beeson. Amaral sets it up for Urquhart, big swing, but just over the line and out of play. And Iowa's gonna have to limit those errors. We saw quite a few of those attack, those service errors on Sunday, you know, all game long, they just weren't able to be efficient. So that's one thing that I think Jim Barnes had to tell us all week is, you know, we can't, we can't shoot ourselves in the foot. You know, we gotta play our game. We gotta be consistent offensively. Look for them to clean that up today. They had more errors and then kills against Michigan State. Good scramble here from the Hawkeyes. Urquhart gets tipped at the net and it falls out of play. And Iowa picks up a point. And what a play there from Iowa. There were three separate Hawkeyes who were on the floor at one time. Iowa able to keep it alive. Michelle Urquhart able to give a strong club there to keep it alive. What a play and what an effort there for Iowa. Here's Gallus with the serve, dug out by Nebraska. Tipped over and it finds the floor. Hung up on the net for a half a second and it just snuck over. Just snuck over, coach is having a conversation, talking about maybe if a challenge is, see right there, just no Hawkeye in the area able to get under that one. Good awareness there by the Huskers as well. Able to find the dead spot on the court. In that building. The body language now lead by strong. five. You can see the sweat on the back of the neck. I've Harper Murray to serve it away. Merritt Beeson awarded with the kill. Ice water in his veins. Calm, cool, and Amaral cool. for Urquhart and tipped over. Set up big swing. And nothing Lombardi can do there. Yeah, a lot of Hawkeyes transitioned to the front there. Wasn't a lot on the back that could do any help, and you see Lombardi just get a hand on it. Right here, not a whole lot you can do with that one. So the long fair, able to pick up the kill. Here is Murray again. This time Garcia with a swing and a block, but Urquhart sends it over. Big swing and hits Gallus. And a thunderous kill from Andy Jackson. Yeah, you see those thunderous swings right there. Only so much Joey Gallus can do. And she's so good at that, but there's so much speed and velocity on that ball. That's so tough for Joey Gallus to get under. Nebraska swinging early. They're up. Loud in here for this sold out matchup. Sold out matchup between the, between Iowa and Nebraska. Uh, the Corn Huskers cur currently take a 12-5 lead here in the first set. But the Hawkeyes are keeping it within reach for now, so we'll have to see how the rest of the set goes. We're going to send it back over to AJ and Hayden. Thank you, Sydney. Again, a sold out crowd here in Extreme Arena for this highly anticipated matchup in Iowa City. Well, five Nebraska, they're swinging early. Jim Barnes calling the timeout there. A lot of fun so far. Big crowd, you know, it's tough to get some big crowds out here in Nebraska. It travels very well. We know how difficult it is to get in the game at Lincoln, so making the trip up here. About Hannah Whittingstall picking up, picking up a kill for the Hawkeyes. And they bring it back within six. Yeah, and Iowa doing such a good job keeping themselves in it. And we talked about the creative ways. Iowa doing it right here. Here's Malu Garcia with the serve. That five -yard penalty will be good serve. Duck out by Nebraska. Gallus sets it up for Amaral. Big swing. Tipped at the net. And a back-to-back -back points for Iowa. Yeah, and you see Nebraska is in there right there. Such good defense, but just tips away. We've seen Nebraska on those blocks where they're able to tip it on their side to keep it alive. Couldn't do it right there. Iowa comes out of the timeout swinging early. Here's Malu Garcia. Big swing and a kill. That time from Taylor Landfair. 
Got a great running back behind him, inviting contact. 13-7, Nebraska in this opening set. Very competitive battle to the point that Mac. And Landfair transfer from Minnesota. Both guys were running with the ones. Mac Brown really felt like Max brings some Number two in career kills leaders. Among active players in Nebraska. Here's Whittingstall tries to tip it over. Nebraska blocks it. Here's Urquhart. That one hits the net. And runs out of play. Yeah, Joey Dallas keeping that possession alive for Iowa. Iowa getting two opportunities on that one. No, you look at the score right now. Has Nebraska has a pretty good lead, but Iowa did keep themselves in this one. Good, set, good setup there for Urquhart. Had the right idea going the opposite way. Just couldn't get to drop and play. Amaral for Garcia. Big swing. Duck out by Nebraska. And tipped over, dug out, hits the net, and that's going to be a point for Nebraska. Yeah, and Lombardi gets under it just right at the net. Good play there from Nebraska. Good effort there from Iowa. Just Nebraska is so dominant in their offensive plays, making sure everyone gets their hands on it. Doing a good job of placing their kills as well, spacing out Iowa's defense and then dinking it just over the net. Amaral sets it up for Urquhart, gets blocked. Lombardi sends it over. Amaral able to climb the ladder. Here's a swing from Nebraska, tipped at the net, and a kill for the Cornhuskers. There is Taylor Landfair again. Landfair, so much velocity on that. We've seen it all day long. And Iowa gets their hands on it on the net. It's just going to bounce right away. You see right there off. Let's make sure that Claire we Amaral had enough time. That's tremendous body control by the veterans. And they played in training today after over two and a half kills per set. She's been you integral know, to this offense in this opening set. Play more people. Complimentary ball. And Minnesota wants to throw it to run it. DJ came out, threw it twice on that opening drive. Amaral sets it up for Whittingstall and a big swing and a kill there for Whittingstall. Bada bing, bada boom. Great play there for Iowa. What a possession. The set and Winning stall up there. That's where she's comfortable at. On that right side, can use that right club. That's what Ivan wants to do. Hannah, 6'2", sophomore from San Antonio, Texas. A transfer from SMU. One of the many transfers for Jim Barnes this offseason. And she's been a very important one coming over from away. Like an error here on Nebraska. Some sort of violation, not getting not getting full clearance here from the official. Buckeyes get a point. Three point for Iowa makes it 16 to 9. Here's Urquhart. Top serve. Big swing from Landfair. Callis sends it over. Over on two and Whittingstall can't handle it. Yeah, she's frustrated with herself there. Just kind of got caught up with it, hit the inside of her wrist and brings it down. I was in a good position there to send it back to the block. Good move from Riley as well. Rebecca Alec was headed towards that outside. But instead, Riley went over on two and it worked out. Here's Whittingstall, big swing, tipped at the net. No, it's not as it goes out of play. Yeah, and that's another good possession for Iowa. That's how they want to score. Get your players set up in their comfortable positions. We've seen Whittingstall on that right side to use that right club. Went different direction and just out of play. 18-9, here's Riley again. The Big Ten setter of the year. Amaral sets it up for Whittingstall. Block and sent back. Iowa's back line not ready for that one to be sent back towards them. And Nebraska jumps out to a 19-9 lead. We'll have more when we come back. You're watching Big Ten Volleyball on Big Ten Plus. And four-time national champion, ABCA Hall of Fame inductee, four-time Big Ten Coach of the Year. The accolades go on and on. The fifth all-time winningest coach with 876 wins. He has been phenomenal. On the other side, a coach who's starting to make waves in the Big Ten, Jim Barnes, in his third season. Picking up a big transfer class in the offseason, really trying to make Iowa a destination spot for players in the Big Ten. He 
Big Ten, one of the best volleyball conferences. Jim Barnes trying to build Iowa up as a bigger brain. Yeah, and Jim Barnes is a great guy and, you know, such a great program leader. He cares about everyone that steps foot on campus. And it's a tough time to be a college coach, you know, with all the roster fluidity we see, but likes the roster he's got. You talked about a couple of transfers bringing in, and that's the nature of how it goes. You've got to bring in people who work for your locker room. Amaral sets it up for a winning stall, and it drops on the side of the Hawkeyes after a good block from Nebraska. Yeah, what a block there from Landfair. She does it, that's her third of the game. Just seeing right there how good those hitters are for Nebraska, that front line defense. Here's Riley again, had a good dig during that rally. Amaral sets it up for Phil, she gets blocked. Garcia ready for it, Amaral over on two. Riley digs it out. Landfair with a swing, Gallus digs it out. Amaral for Phil's. Kept alive by the back row. And sent over, Amaral sets it up. Urquhart for Phil's. Tried to tip it over, but sent back by the Huskers. Phil sends it over. Swing by Lane Fair and it drops in. What a rally there, and the Huskers pick up another point. And Nebraska shows you right there how you have to be perfect. You can't make mistakes, even on your best plays. They somehow have a play in Landfair, like we talked about in the pregame, so crucial on the outside. Here's Riley. Amaral, big swing, tipped at the net. Tipped over again, and it drops into the campfire. Rebecca Alec picks up her third kill. And Jim Barnes burned both these timeouts. Now he knew it was going to be difficult to have to manage those and manage Nebraska's hard Troy in the train crowd. momentum as they're cruising Dan, here. Coach. Dallas on digs it out, sets it up, like tipped at the net. Tips over again. Amaral keeps it in play. Urquhart and swing. Big swing. Garcia tried to dig it out, but just too much juice on it. Yeah, just too much juice, and I think she got it a little bit too high up on her arm. Didn't time it up correctly, not able to set that up for her teammates. Tough play for her there for Iowa. Irvin Riley still has the server sent over. Riley sets it up. Gallus can't get there. Another kill, this time from Harper Murray. Yeah, set point now for Nebraska, trying to take this first set handily. And you see right there, so composed. That's a tough shot there for Nebraska, right in the middle. It's a tough one where you, for Murray. You can't get comfortable. You can't hit it down as hard. you got to worry about the net in the way. Tough play there. Husker fans on their feet. Amaral tries to keep it alive. Garcia can't get there. Nebraska takes the opening set 25-9. And this sold out crowd, bleeding red. Yeah, bleeding red for sure. We knew this Husker team would travel well, and Hawkeye fans showing up as well. They want to see the high. Perfect in Big Ten play. Yeah, they have been so perfect in Big Ten play. Got a tough matchup with Wisconsin this weekend, so that's one they got marked on their schedule. Gonna be an exciting one down in Madison. And you saw seven teams in the Big Ten ranked in the latest ABCA poll. The Big Ten Conference continues to be the strongest conference in the sport of college volleyball. And you mentioned it. Nebraska has number six Wisconsin on Saturday on the network. That is going to be must-see TV. A lot of firepower there, AJ. As we are ready to go for the second set, it's still Bergen Riley back to serve for the Cornhuskers. In the Minnesota program. Yeah, and that was perfect, and it set up this. Once again, now we get a one-on-one. -on -one. We take a shot. Over by Urquhart. Tipped into the air, and he'll find the front row. Hawkeyes take the first point here in the second set. And no other than Michelle Urquhart. Such a big name for Iowa. Had a good game on Sunday, That's freshly engaged too. How about that, Mr. Easter? Yes, newly engaged on senior night. Congratulations, Michelle Urquhart and her entire family. Urquhart, good serve. Riley sets it up, blocked by Iowa. 
Over again, that one, too much on it. And over the end line as Merritt Beeson went up for the kill, but just too much. And this is what you need to do if you're Iowa. Get Nebraska frustrated, make them uncomfortable. This isn't a place where they are a lot. So if Iowa, you really need to take advantage of this 2-0 run right now. card again. But 25 different alerts, 25 different chances. Riley sets Great it up, tipped set. over. Good save game. from Dom Phils, but it goes out of play. Yeah, Dom Phils just wanted to get a piece of it right there, but Joy Gallus was in the area. You got to think she could maybe give up a better opportunity to set up an offensive play. Because you get a good look right here. Gallus doing anything she can to keep it alive. But. Now that wasn't quite the... <laughs> Accurate advancement, but this is a big Amaral catch. over on two, but good Spencer recovery from the Cornhuskers. Sipped at the net by Iowa, keep it alive. Gallus for Amaral, she sends it over one-handed. Nearly contact. disastrous, and Dom Phils picks up on the miscommunication from Nebraska. And really good play there from Dom Mules to not fall apart. She saw the miscommunication on that side. She just needed to send it over the net. A great play there from the freshman. An uncharacteristic miscommunication play there by Nebraska. But like you said, Phils takes advantage and picks up a point. And here's an ace for the Hawkeyes. Another error here from Nebraska. It's, like we said, making them uncomfortable. You see the, how excited that front line is for Iowa. A couple new faces in there now. Getting some action. And a Davis, the server. Here's a big swing. Tipped at the net and out of play. As Harper Murray gets a redemption point. That's a fully developed offensive line. He lost his shoe. That's the only thing that can get him off. A tough pass, but good job by Bergen Riley to save it and send it right back to Murray. They're going to use a timeout for the big guy's shoe. Here is Lexi Rodriguez, the libero. Amarola swing from Davis. Set up for Beeson. Tipped at the net, and Iowa picks up another point. A good play there from Davis to block it. Good play over good club on that front side right here in Nebraska. In an uncomfortable situation right now. Going to get a timeout, a quick timeout. And that sideline a little bit loud. 15 service aces this season on the other side for Iowa towards the bottom of the Big Ten, allowing 199 service aces coming into today. The two very different storylines when it comes to service aces. But we just saw it there, Anna Davis picking up an ace. Well, that stat speaks for itself. That tells you how good Nebraska is. They're so you know, poised, they're consistent as Iowa sends one over right now. And you know, Iowa, they're in the best spot they've been all day. Can you keep this going? You know, even if you don't extend a run, can you keep yourself in this set where you can allow yourself to stay in it at the end? First service error for the Hawkeyes. And again, that was the storyline of the Michigan State's match was how Iowa had more errors than kills. And there's a service error from Merritt Beeson. Yeah, and in that game on Sunday, we saw both Michigan State and Iowa. It was a sloppy first set. We saw a ton of attack errors, a ton of service errors. But Michigan State, they were the one that tightened it up. They were the one that cleaned it up. That's why they came out victorious. Here's Iowa with a 6-3 lead here in the second set. And another error by Nebraska. Olivia Mount can't handle the serve. And another ace. Yeah, and you wonder what that message was from Coach Cook here after that timeout. You know, just calm me down. You guys have the skill set to do so. Iowa brings in a couple new faces and has himself a lead here. There's the service error there from the Hawkeyes as Nebraska makes a couple of substitutions. That will be Harper Murray, the sophomore from Ann Arbor, ABCA All-American third team last year, and also on the All-Region team. Tipped over by Iowa, that's from Gracie Gibson. Tipped by Nebraska, Urquhart digs it out. Sent over. Set up. Blocked by Iowa. Sent over on two. Amaral keeps it in play. Urquhart with a swing. Blocked. Keeps it alive. Amaral. Tipped over by Garcia. Nebraska sets it up. Big swing and a kill. And there's nothing you can do right there in Nebraska. Keeping it alive. We talked about who's going to set him up all game long. But Harper Murray, there is not much you can do on the defensive end of that one. 
A lot of missed passes and a lot of just tipped over balls. And right there, Harper Murray said, I'm gonna end this point right here. Urquhart sends it over. Riley sets it up and a kill for Taylor Landfair. You see right there what Nebraska's trying to do. They want Bergen Riley right in the middle. They, she knows where this ball needs to go, which hitter she needs to set up. You saw it right there. That's why she leads this team and the Big Ten in assists. Bergen Riley, Big Ten set of the year, sixth in the nation in assists per set. And like you said, Hoxie leads the Big Ten. Garcia sends it over and picks up a kill as Nebraska can't dig it out. Look right here, Garcia. There's creative ways to score. We saw a little bit of it in the first set, doing it right here again. He was as good as it got. Big swing, and Iowa can't get the full block as Andy Jackson picks up a big kill. Yeah, big kill right there. We didn't. She had only two kills in that first set. We saw a lot from Merritt Beeson and Taylor Landfair. We're trying to get in on the action now. Nebraska brings it back within one. Here's Kennedy Orr from Egan, Minnesota. Big swing there from Davis. No gimmies and openers. Duck out, but we'll find the front row of the stands. And Nebraska picks up back-to-back -back points, and we're all tied at eight. Yeah, and we see what Alec can do right there. She's so tough in the front. And then Lanfair on the outside. Not a whole lot you can do if you're in the back trying to dig that one out. Kennedy Orr, last time against Iowa, had five digs, but picks up. Some good services here as now Nebraska leads by one. Yeah, and this is where Nebraska can be dangerous. We talked, we saw in the last matchup, Iowa versus Nebraska, down. they went on a couple of 6-0 runs. So one of those right here will put Iowa in a really tough spot, hard to come back from. Prior to the fumble, holding defense number Ooh. seven. Emerald sets it up for Garcia. Good dig by Nebraska. Send it back. Tough scramble for Iowa as it goes over the back line, and Nebraska now leads by two. Yeah, and just a difficult pace of play there for Iowa. Jim Barnes is going to call a timeout, but when you're moving quickly, it's hard to really use that fundamentals right here. We see Garcia just sending it right back, and nothing you can do if you're Iowa. Huskers picking up speed. They lead the first team, and number four in through digs per set. I mean, she has been a staple in this Nebraska lineup for four years and trying to chase down that big record in career digs. Yeah, good chance to do so. Zero digs so far today, but Iowa really hasn't sent a lot her way, and they haven't needed to use her. That front line has been so good in keeping it in front, but like you said, so many accolades, and she's got a big one she's still chasing. An ace for Kennedy Orr, as now Nebraska leads 11-8. to eight. But Hoxie, it feels like wherever you look on this Nebraska lineup, everyone has a list of accolades. We already talked about Bergen Riley, Rebecca Alex having a decent game today. She also has a long list of accolades. It just feels like when you get a team like this, one of the best in the nation, things like that will happen as Bergen Riley picks up a kill. Yeah, and like you said, and Coach Cook has done such a great job of making this a place you want to be. He's Second able to know now go Seven get stuff out of the portal. It's a different game. It's a different world out there in college. So having to recruit when the season's over, he's recruited the people he needs and makes people better. He also makes the people around him better. Obviously, 25 years at Nebraska, long history. But before that, he was the head coach at Wisconsin. And you see where that program is now. Amaral over on two. Good dig. Riley sets it up. Big swing from Landfair, but a block by Iowa. Yeah, and Landfair maybe not in the position she wants to be. She wants to be a little bit closer to net. As you see right there, just comes up short. So maybe not the position she wanted to be in right there. Third down and nine. Finds the front end of the net. Johnson, Iowa the stops the bleeding. Nebraska on a 6-0 scoring run before that himself. point for the Hawkeyes. What did Mac Brown say? He's a better runner Here's than Jamie Marquardt with the serve. Six, five, two, Tipped over. Iowa good Frank dig, but can't get over there quick enough as Rebecca Alec Johnson picks up a kill. Yeah, Iowa doing everything they can to keep to it alive right there, but not a whole lot you're going to be able to do with that one. Diving at it, you're going to send it out of play, so... 
you know, positioning for Iowa has been a little bit difficult. Nebraska doing a really good job of finding the weak spots on the top guy defense. I like the 6'4 junior home girl in Lincoln, Nebraska. Sent over by Davis. Rodriguez. Tipped over by Murray. Urquhart swing. Out of play. Joy Gallus keeps it alive, alive there for Iowa, but just a little bit too strong there. Nebraska gets the point. Second and eight. Pressure Irvin from Riley, 14 from double doubles this Johnson season. He already has double day. digits and assists and there is with 21. A marker down. Tipped at the net, kept alive. Riley that was sets it up, tipped over by Landfair. Iowa on the scramble. Kind of like the punt with a hit over and it drops inside the line to the point. Simple there from Lombardi, but gets the job done. Just nobody in the area of the Huskers. Doesn't do a whole lot with it, just sends it over the net. Stays in bounds. Olivia Lombardi picking up her first kill of the night. Here's Michelle Urquhart. And bothered him. It's right here. And Willie Lampkin, the right guard, watch him. He gets, I can't even see him. But look at, he is underneath him. And because of it, his defense is That one just out of play as the Hawkeyes get back to back points and bring it back within three. And Michelle Urquhart is the one you want centering it over the net. We've seen a lot of success so far. She's serving up the he runs right into Easter in the pile. 14 still 11, Nebraska. Here's so Urquhart. Soft serve. First team, all ACC Riley sets it up. Big swing tip at the net. And that one will drop in. Merritt Beeson picks up a point. Receiving, but when you got a back like that, and you know if you dent the line of scrimmage at all, and defensive coordinator Corey Heather. Good setup on that so left side. Team. Again, Anna yeah, Davis and Claire Amaral trying to combine for the block. The elite just off the fingers. Here is Mauk. Over on two by Amaral. Sent back by Nebraska. A battle at the net. Urquhart for Phils. She's blocked. Phils sends it towards the scorer's table. And that's what Nebraska does so good. And you look at the scoreboard right now. Seven kills for Murray. Six for Beeson. Five for Alec and five for Landfair. Such a divided... Some way, Scoring like opportunity, 22 assists for Bergen Riley, having an instant impact like we said she would. Sent over, duck out by Rodriguez. And another kill for Merritt Beeson. Yeah, just nothing Iowa can do on that one. Nobody able to dig it out. They do such a good job at forcing it in those back corners. On the Hawkeye defense, there's not a whole lot Iowa can do. No, his hand went down. He got into the end zone. It wasn't the elbow or the arm, just the hand for Max Johnson. And he gets to find the end zone. The transfer for Carolina gets in. Better look at Brad Johnson, who I know, like many of the played in the 80s. And Nebraska the leads set number two, 17 11. AJ Reister alongside Hayden Hawksmeyer in front of a sold out Extreme Arena. Nebraska dominated set number one. And here in set number two, came out slow, but it's been picking up speed over the last few points. Went on a 7 1 scoring run at one point, and a big reason why is Miss Landfair, Taylor Landfair, second among active players and kills, and she has been red hot tonight with six, along with five digs and three blocks. Well, she's playing all Big Ten like volleyball, and that's why she's been three-time first-team all Big Ten. Of course, did that at Minnesota before bringing her talents to Lincoln, but showing there why she's so well. Anna Davis picks up a kill. She's been finding her way into the lineup a lot more tonight. You've been to Morgantown? And when talking with head coach Jim Barnes before the match, he said just about everyone's going to get a chance to play in front of this crowd tonight. And here's a kill from Rebecca Alex. There's nothing you can do that one from Alex. Just sent so vertically down front. Had them playing very well. Tough so this scoop there for Iowa. Gallus way back on that. Here's Lexi Rodriguez. First team All-American. Big swing from Phils, and that one drops in. 
Dom Phils picks up her third kill back in the starting lineup tonight. We've seen a lot from freshman Dom Phils and Malu Garcia. Those two finding a lot of creative ways to score, attacking the libero there from Nebraska. And we're all with the serve. Riley sets it up. Big swing, and that one just sneaks inside the line. Andy Jackson, the kill. Andy Jackson, ABCA all region team last year, was also Big Ten second team. And on the all freshman team. On second and seven, Carolina brings four and gets there, and Brosmer goes down. over by Beeson. Here's Phils, tips it over, sent back by Nebraska, scramble drill for Iowa, and Gallus sends it up into the rafters. Just came back down, but <laughs> yeah, Iowa, a little bit of a scramble drill there, not getting the setups they want for their hitters. That's been kind of the downfall in this set, just not able to create much offense. He gets him right, he gets him left. The fact she even got over there, she ended up kicking it, but the fact she even got over there was pretty remarkable. I love it. <laughs> Big swing, Garcia sends it over, hits it off the net. Sent back and over the back line, Merritt Beeson on the attack arrow. Yeah, and I think Joy Gallus is gonna have to be one who steps up here. They're they're attacking a lot. They're getting a lot of good sets, so she's gonna have to step up. She's gonna be in some tough spots. Big deep breath for Joy Gallus, and she's ready to go. 20 to 14, Nebraska. Here's the serve from Lombardi. Set up, and that one too hot to handle. Andy Jackson picks up a kill. Yeah, and Claire Emerald just not able to get in front of that one and handle. We're seeing a lot of these Hawkeye hitters right now really struggling to get in front of these big swings from Nebraska. 21-14, Amaral unable to dig that one out. Harper Murray. Leading the way in kills tonight with seven. Amaral for Urquhart. She can't get over the net. Yeah, just mistakes falling apart now for Iowa. Really struggling to get any sort of offensive momentum. Nebraska's really picking it up on them now. 12 attack error to nine by Iowa. And that tells you it's a block in the back. As here is the serve from Murray. Amaral, big swing by Gracie Gibson. The transfer from Lafayette College gets on the board. But it's one that you yeah, just right in the middle here. Not anything you can Don't do there for Nebraska. Shot because it's gonna Lexi Rodriguez, gonna the one Carolina back. just in front of it. One who usually makes a play like that. That's the way Dallas, McMillan, a service error. Who is down That's their third as a team. 23-15 Nebraska. McMillan, who's looking to take a two-set lead. The block in college football, four years at TCU. Kennedy Orr back to serve it away. They're talking to Matt Urquhart Brown for Amaral, big swing by Davis. Nebraska tipped it, scramble drill. And they're able to get it back to land fair. Dug out, set up for Garcia, tipped at the net, and out of play. And the way Nebraska's even able to keep that one alive and let alone set up a good offensive play, a good play by Iowa to really take advantage of that possession. You see a good setup there from Amaral, like you said. She's been in and out of the lineup because of her injury tonight. Said that she was ready to go and get back into the starting lineup, and she's been solid. The most a couple of kills, the most eight assists to go along with two digs. Yeah, we saw her working pregame with Coach Barnes, feeling it out, really wanted to play in this game, getting comfortable, was able to do so in that pregame. Big Taylor kill, Taylor Landfair drops the hammer. Set point upcoming. And that's that explosiveness we've seen from Nebraska all year and Landfair. No room for mercy. Set point. Here's Riley. That one stays in play. An ace for Bergen Riley. 
Yeah, Joy Gallus just not able to judge that one cleanly, and Nebraska takes a big set there. That's a big one. It's going to be tough for Iowa to really try and crawl back now. 25-16, Nebraska. They lead the match by two. When we come back, we'll have set number three. You're watching Big Ten Volleyball on Big Ten Plus. This penalty out. This is one with a foul by each team. Actually, North Carolina got the option. They could keep the ball, but they would then be in And 18 of the 23 wins have been sweeps, looking to make that 19 out of 24 tonight. Leading two to nothing. I would try to beat that speed bump on Nebraska's way back to the national tournament. But they're going to have to dig themselves out of quite a hole. Yeah, quite a hole. And Iowa's last opportunity in front of their home crowd this year. Head on the road this weekend and then out to California to finish off their season. So last chance for them to show off in front of these Hawkeye fans. Olivia Lombardi, the redshirt freshman, to serve it away. Big swing, Gallus digs it out, but it'll find the referee in Nebraska. Jumps out to an early lead. Heck of a dig there from Gallus, just sent the wrong way, but Lombardi served it on the other side. I haven't seen her as much over the past couple weeks. I saw her a lot early yeah, in the that season. Defense really shifting the momentum in this game, but throughout it, first year defensive coordinator Corey Heatherman has been telling us. Amaral sets it up, big swing by Miss Gracie Gibson. Tipped over. Lombardi for Urquhart. Dug out. There's a kill from Blackwell. Leads the team in blocks per set, but picks up a kill here. Yeah, there's nobody in there in the area for Iowa dead zone. Able to go cross body with that one, find the open area. That's a really tough play. Not only finds herself defensively picking up points, but there instead picks up a kill as Olivia Lombardi can't handle the serve from Riley. Olivia Lombardi. Limited action this season. That didn't happen the last two weeks. And Riley with the serve. Gallus digs it out. Garcia sends it back into play. Urquhart with a swing. Dug out by Nebraska's Riley. Tipped over. Amaral for Garcia. That one is out of play. Another attack error for Iowa. Nebraska on a 4 0 run. Yeah, and Iowa, if they want to keep themselves in, it's got to limit the areas, those creative ways. And just a couple of miscues early in this one. Nebraska up 4 0 early. It's going to be tough to Iowa. They've got to clean it up here, tighten things up. Bergen Riley. Amaral for Urquhart. Blocked, but out of play. Iowa stops the bleeding after that error from Nebraska. Blackwell and Landfair went up for the block, but just couldn't keep it in play. Anna Davison now for Iowa. We've seen her battle a little bit of injury. She was such an important piece on last year's team. And like you said, Jim Barnes said a lot of people were going to play today. They want to see him in front of the action. Nebraska gets another kill. Krause picking up a kill. That's her first tonight. Look at four yards, and that is it. Krause on the outside, picking up a kill. Fox Big Ten all freshman team. Rival, and third on the active Brewer kills list. And the Brewers with their big lead in the NL Central taking Garcia on sends it over. Tipped at the net. Amaral for Urquhart. Big swing, tuck out by Rodriguez. Here's Murray. That one does not stay inside the paint. Attack error by Harper Murray. Iowa brings it back within three. Yeah, both Landfair and Murray now with seven kills. Both those Landfair five digs and Murray four. So both them getting involved for the Cornhuskers. Mark Quark, an ace. Stop serve. Back-to-back -back points for Iowa. Didn't see her much in the first set. Saw her get a little bit of action in the second. Good play there from Marquardt. Just died at the apex and almost looked like a knuckleball. No spin on Sent across the court, Amaral for Urquhart. Tipped and out of play. Iowa picks up another point. They bring it back within one. And that play starts right there with Olivia Lombardi. You know, that could, that's an easy dig there for her, but it's her being prepared, ready for that, you know, misdirection from Nebraska, able to keep it alive for Iowa. 
a huge Murray offensive tried. lineman that just moved the line Get of scrimmage to their efficiency dig. for P.J. Just Fleck. couldn't quite keep it up. The Here's the a swing from Murray, dug out by Lombardi. Excuse me, that was Mark Wart who dug it out, but landed out of play. Driver in the backfield. Brosmer looks him off. It's a little bit high, but he's got it to the tight end, Calarup. And it'll be third down coming up. Just a big swing from Harper Murray. She has been explosive tonight. Here's Rodriguez. Amaral over on two. What do you like third and one? I like pushing Bergen that Riley ball. sets it up, dug out right by Lombardi. Urquhart with a kill. Big swing there from Urquhart. She's been good here in this third set on how Iowa can get going. Olivia Lombardi, another great dig here. She, her and Urquhart have been carrying this Hawkeye team here in the third. 6-5 Nebraska in this third set. Set up and killed by Merritt Beeson. Merritt Beeson, her seventh kill of the night. Go along with three digs and a couple of blocks. The transfer from Florida after her sophomore season. Was on the ABCA All-American first team, also Big Ten first teamer. And when she was at Florida, was on the All-SEC team. Official conversation. Harper Murray getting looked at by medical training staff. Look at on that. Stick Lane turned himself like into a missile. Hand, wrist area. Just getting him taped up. These safeties on both sides are not She's an important to come piece. Lead the way and kills with eight, Once five again, dudes. That's, that's a little bit of an indicator for her tonight. Oh, the, oh, want to make sure that she's set and ready to go, fast, especially with the Nebraska, their high hopes, to make the three getting yards, back in that national tournament that, make that and going deep into that postseason. And they've got a big Harbaugh one coming up against Wisconsin. They're going to need Murray. Yeah, they are. And, you know, this is a you know, big game for history. Iowa, but Nebraska looking to you know, set themselves up. They know that's a big game. It's a great game you can get ready for before NCAA is a team that you could maybe see down the stretch. Iowa taking this opportunity basically as a timeout to kind of prepare. What have you seen so far from Iowa? And what do they need to do here in this third set to try and steal one from the second ranked team in the country? Well, they're gritty. They've, they've showed that this entire third period went down early and, you know, they kind of looked like Nebraska could just run away with it, but they came back with it. A lot of part due to Olivia Lombardi and Michelle Urquhart. Those two have been huge. Joy Gallus showing effort. The team hasn't given up. You see the sidelines staying into it. So. You know, everybody on this floor has a belief that they can do it. Coach Jim Barnes has created such a great game plan. We talked about it, scoring in creative ways. We've seen that. And the freshmen have been good as well. We've seen Oliver Garcia be so good. And Dom Phils, both those players have been phenomenal for Iowa. And it's almost become expected for Nebraska to be this powerhouse and dominate these teams. I mean, 18 sweeps in their last 23 wins. What have you seen from Nebraska tonight that has shown you why they're so dominant? Well, everything we talked about pregame, they're doing. Bergen Riley, 30 assists on the day, and getting it to they're such good outside hitters and those front hitters. They had such a balanced attack. Harper Murray with eight kills. Taylor Landfair with seven, and Merritt Beeson with seven. So they're doing it consistently. Everybody's getting involved as we cut quite the wave here. We, I don't think we've seen a crowd like this here at Extreme Arena. The vibes are high here, Mr. Easter. They absolutely are. Hawkeye fans and Nebraska fans showing out for this big matchup as Nebraska picks up a block. Andy Jackson right there at the net. Denied right away. Just no life on that one. Sends it right back, Jackson. No chance for him at all as Andy Jackson was ready for it. The first block of the night. Here's Beeson. He's inside the five and high-stepping. Swing by Davis, tipped at the net, drops in. Jackson and Murray went up for the block. Instead, it got tipped and fell between the Cornhuskers. And Iowa picks up a point. Yeah, good play there from Davis. Just gets off the fingers there of Harper. Iowa gets another point. 8-6, Nebraska. And, excuse me, that is Riley who went over on to collision on the court and it goes out of play as Amaral and Urquhart both went down to try and save it. Yeah, Phil's trying to save it on that left end, but no doing there for Hawkins. 
Getting to that second level. Three-point lead for the Cornhuskers. Harper Murray back to serve it away. Of Carolina in that backfield. They were punching the line of scrimmage. Five digs These and eight kills on the night for her. Stop serve. Gallus digs it out. Urkar has to try and Minnesota. save it. Major. And can't. Put his pads down, running right behind him. Nebraska now up by four and another ace. 35 for games the Cornhuskers. At Oklahoma. Now a transfer to Minnesota. He's in the backfield. And first Nebraska and goal. Starting He'll put it on now for Iowa. Iowa just not much communication there. Dallas with a good dig, but no one there to rebound it and set up an offensive play. Tipped over. Good dig there by Nebraska. Set back and Dallas can't handle it. It's a good question. They get the ball to begin the second half, Jason. I I don't know Maybe. how much trust they have in Joe their Boy, offense right now. Joe Boy, what a right play now, there from her to body keep on it body, alive. Body on body. And if it weren't Dallas for the power, of that it one echoes one lower game. half and the strength as those two Brahma Bulls took on Andy each Krause other. Andy Krause with the kill. That was going to be another touchdown. Amaral for Phils, tipped at the net, set back, and Krause picks up back-to-back -back kills. And that's just a tough play for Iowa. Nobody was in the area, but power. credit there from Krause to... Just hit it over the net and Second no man's again. land for the Hawkeyes. Jim, Bur Jim Barnes burns a timeout. 12-6 Nebraska. 12-6 Nebraska leading here in the third set. AJ Reister alongside Hayden Hotsmeyer for this one. Nebraska leading two sets to none. Trying to sweep the Hawkeyes for the second time this season. Iowa. Played it close early in this set, but Nebraska starting to pull away. Michelle Urquhart's been solid tonight, five kills, a couple of digs. But it's been Nebraska as Harper Murray sends it away. Amaral over on two, a big swing, but over the back line. Yeah, it's a little bit too strong there from Amaral. You want your Nebraska to takes be a seven-point lead. The way now. that Tom frames that, I was going to have to get started early and often right now. This guy's got his teammates, not just because of the lead today. Ooh, wow. Almost he's got three. for that misfield. So he's got his Amaral teammates. And we're all over on two totally again. Duck out by Rodriguez, oh, but it lands out of play. Yeah, yeah, she loves you know, being right there, just sending it over, making it difficult for Nebraska. Oh, and they play there from the Hawkeyes. Nebraska, no answer as we get a good look. Just nobody in the area kind of having this play uh, here's scrambled. Here's how it's so far. Been Major big debut as a goal for 73 Amaral, and a touchdown. too much on it. 22 runs. Service no error. Nope. And remember, Newbin a year ago filling in for Taylor. Looking ahead for Nebraska, we know how so dominant they've been. Ranked 10th nationally no and second in the Big Ten in hitting percentage. Ranked 8th nationally, eight nationally eight in kills per set. With over 14. And looking at their schedule, number six, Wisconsin coming up on Saturday. Then they travel to Happy Valley to take on the fourth ranked Nittany Lions. And they close out the season in Maryland. A couple of ranked matches coming up. Could be a big test for Nebraska. Yeah, a big test, and you know this is a good this is a good game to get some you know action right before Nebraska. You know, they think they got a long road ahead of them. They got a lot of games left to be played in their minds, and they're going to see some good competition on the road. It'll be an exciting end to the Big Ten volleyball season. With two ranked matchups coming up, too. Top 10 ranked matchups for Nebraska. Iowa picks up a point. Right here with the ball thrown down the field. That is a that's just a no-no before it's caught. He must be anticipating that, that ball is going to be coming. Here is Lombardi. That She's is just been a, crucial a young set, player. Getting a lot of action now. A lot of Got a bit of spark plug here for the Hawkeyes late. There's a swing and that one goes out of play. Really close for Layla Blackwell looking for another kill. But that one just drops out of play. That Great judge there from Claire Emerald. Didn't That's really have good position to get in front of it, so good to hold off, because if she does try to take that one out, probably wasn't going to go anywhere for the Hawkeyes. Set up for Blackwell again. Emerald back to Whittingstall. Too much juice on it, but it drops. Yep. Oh, yeah, it was tipped by Nebraska at the net, so a point for Iowa. Yeah, and, you know, for Iowa, that's such a, you know, we missed it just a little bit. Yeah, you see a tip right there. And if he looks big, Iowa stand alive. He is big. He's 6'8", 350. Swing tuck out by Lombardi. Urquhart sets it up for Garcia. Set back. Gallus has to go out of bounds, sends it back to Garcia. Advantage edge rushers for these gophers. Big swing and a tip by you Iowa. Be careful if you're Carolina with that. Urquhart 
Off the net, good dig by Rodriguez. Here's another swing sent out of play by the Hawks. Lindsey Krause picks up another kill. Or find a way to get Hampton the ball because 16-10 Nebraska. Damaging with the ball in his hands. Lindsey Krause. Well, Marion Hampton. 64 senior from Papillion, Nebraska. Averaging just over two yet, kills per set. He's picking up some speed here in the third. Went over 1,500 yards last year. 1,500. Sets it up. Lombardi digs it out. Battle at the net. One by Garcia. Level. Sent back. Tipped at the net. Gallus can't get there. And Gallus just a little bit of a late jump there on that one. Good play there from Lombardi to keep it alive for the Hawkeyes. Good battle there at the net to we saw for both those squads. Just short of midfield. Not much communication in the campfire for the Hawkeyes. Here's Riley. Stop serve and it hits the net. Service oh. error for Berg and Riley. Cole Lindenberg, who has a joker tattoo on his arm, just created some havoc. That's a little scoop shuffle screen there on that final drive. Six point I lead for the Huskers. Here's Gallus. I wouldn't mind a gap screen. I wouldn't mind. I got by Krause, well. set up. Now he's an attempt by Krause. Lombardi kicked it into the air, giving the point to Nebraska. They say it hit the floor. Yeah, quick whistle there. Iowa wanted to keep it alive, but whistle from the referee. Brown's message to me at the half. He said we have a lot of inexperienced guys Seven point lead now for Nebraska. All of them. Lombardi, so that's a good concern. effort there to try and keep it alive, but he's going to continue to try and help them and chip. And a lot of it floor. is also on the quarterback. He said he has to move. We need to use some misdirection and get Game the ball for out Davis. A quicker, really. to Nebraska. Riley sets it up. Big swing. Gallus takes it out. Long Connor run for Davis. Garcia with the over. Well. He said, "I'm not ready to make that change now, but if things don't change, Riley sets it up for Murray, and she delivers a kill." You saw there from Nebraska, really good positioning as Riley sets it up. Where he thought two Huskers could have got it made. Offense. The Hawkeyes kind of have to get us. And North Carolina. Good play there to set to things no, up. We saw stylistically what they like Jackson to do. They've been tempo. Get it. They've been spread. They've been RPO. But this is some nine kills of what tonight. Matt Brown told us we've got to Here's be more Garcia tips it over. My defense. Riley sets it up for Beeson. Dug out by Davis. Amaral back to Urquhart. Blocked by Nebraska. That one drops in. And Minnesota collapses on it. Nebraska up by nine here late in the third. And Jim Barnes will burn his second timeout. Yeah, timeout indeed, kind of last chance here for the Hawkeyes. Can they get anything going? Needs to happen right now. Nebraska up 20 to 11, five points away from a sweep. You're watching Big Ten Volleyball on Big Ten Plus. Minnesota savvy and that good on good. He didn't start football until the summer before his junior year of high school. Now he's a first-team All-ACC tight end. And you see that with Pops that plays 11 years in the NFL like his does. On a handoff, Hampton and a big collision down there. That was Maverick Baranowski. And he, my friends, uh -huh. Baranowski is all neck team. All neck team. Look at the size of his Nebraska team. leads okay. set number three, 20 to 11. The width. Trying it's to complete like their second sweep of the Hawkeyes this strength. season. Andy Jackson, a big reason why they could tonight. Third in the NCAA like in hitting percentage. Helmet. And she That's has been phenomenal tonight. Bounce. Five kills to go along with two blocks and a dig. Yeah, that That's defensive is Hampton. what really stood out for me. Forward. Just all day long, getting in front of that front line, making it not easy at all for Iowa to score any points. But offensively, it's been all around. We've seen great setups, especially from Bergen Riley, who we knew he would. 37 assists on the day. That number's phenomenal. Service error by Olivia Mount. Here's Iowa point back. And Jackson, she has her list of accolades as well as there's a big kill by the Cornhuskers. Zinga, wow, that one came down <laughs> real fast and wow, right on cue, Andy Jackson. Back to serve is Lexi Rodriguez. I don't know if that was a side tackle. Lindenberg said head on, bite the ball. Amaral over on two and a back and another kill for Amaral. And back to back points for the Hawkeyes. A little good misdirection there from Amaral. The, like you said, those creative ways, how they can score. Hawkeyes keeping the Huskers on their toes. Tackle Omari on Amaral. Here's Urquhart, 21 13, Nebraska. On both sides of it. 
In an ace, Michelle Urquhart picks up the Hawkeyes fifth ace tonight. That's her second. Not going away quietly. Something the Hawkeyes never seem to do. A little bit of an oopsie daisy moment right there. Is not able to quite come up with it. Second down throw. It's a quick slant. Good dig by Mount. Big swing by Andy Jackson. I mean, this is Chip Lindsay. He's been doing it a while at offensive coordinator. Talked about here coming back from the break. ABCA All Region team, All Big Ten second team, and All Big Ten freshman team a year ago. I said to you coming out. Big Ten defensive player of the week. Second best player. Back in October. And That's one of the best Lindsay hitting right percentages in the country. Great the play there from Davis. Just able to get her set up where she wants to be on that right side where Iowa's been so good today. 22-15 Nebraska, but Iowa picks up another point there. Anna Davis, like you said, getting more opportunities tonight. In and out of the lineup all season, but tonight has been in there more often than not. There's a swing and a kill that time from Harper Murray. You saw Urquhart and Davis good look at each other. Both know that one of them probably should have called it a lack of communication. Hawkeye is on their last leg here just a moment. How about this brother to brother, Max to Jake Johnson? How cool is it? Harper Murray just over the three blockers for Iowa. It's been so dominant and explosive tonight. Amaral for winning stall, big swing, dug out, sent over. Amaral sets it up for winning stall. That one drops, but no, kept alive and somehow sent over. Another scramble drill, but that one this time will hit the floor. A little bit of scramble drill, and crazy Nebraska is able to keep that one alive, but Iowa taking advantage. Both teams a little bit out of funks on that one. Just a great attack there from winning stall, and no chance for Murray to get there. And here is Claire Amaral. The game we haven't seen today for Iowa. Alyssa Warden, we knew, talked about her last game, how important she was offensively for Iowa. Didn't see her at all today. Andy Davis, another kill. But you're right, Alyssa Warden had the start on Sunday against Michigan State, but no Warden tonight. Nebraska, match point upcoming. Looking for their second sweep of the Hawkeyes this season, their 19th. Since losing to SMU, this is how you put a defense that was dictating to you. Gallus, Amaral, winning stall keeps this game moving. Good possession there from Iowa, where you want it to be. Joy Gallus able to set it up for one of her hitters. Gets it done. Nebraska wants to sweep Iowa. It'll have to be on the defensive end. Here is Lombardi. A service ace tonight, looking to keep this one alive. Nebraska, looking for their 24th win in a row. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance. Riley sets it up, big swing by Murray, scramble drill for Iowa, finds the front row. Nebraska, 24 wins in a row as they sweep the Hawkeyes. And what a game from Nebraska all night long, start to finish, able just to get dominating, do what they do so well. So many names got involved. Iowa just not able to keep up with the fast-paced Huskers. 25-17 in the third set. Nebraska sweeps the Hawkeyes in front of a sold-out crowd. Nebraska fans showed out tonight. And look at the numbers there, dominate.
takes it. Downstairs, Allison Williams talked to P.J. Fleck. Yeah, and I asked him what changed for his offense and Max Brosmer as the game went on in that first half, and he said the biggest thing was up front. They simplified things. You guys mentioned UNC defensive coordinator Jeff Collins. He's the minister of mayhem, right? He wants to be simple but really look complicated, and those complicated looks were causing problems for the offensive lineup with Minnesota. So P.J. said we really just simplified things. We focused on getting a hat on a hat and letting the effort take over. Letting that size advantage, that length and that weight get to Jeff Collins' front. You're the first to punch instead of reacting to all of those looks from Jeff Collins. He's got to do a little more in this second half. Off play action. He rolls. And he throws across his body. That's incomplete. And Jeff Collins' defense sets up a second down and 10. Elijah Huzzy got the hand in it. Jeff Collins, right? He lost his job at Georgia Tech. He finds a home here with Mac Brown, and they talked about complimentary football being deeper, but man, was he energized in our meeting. He sure was. I think a couple things. Number one, this got more clear. Number two.